Lisa Grundon here a couple hours later on my Facebook Live than I intended to be because we had some difficulties with an internet connection tonight. So even in this day and age, I uh, can't always get a decent connection. So anyway, I want to talk about again today about the art of self-love and day two with this. And we're really going to hone in a little bit about letting go of self-hate. And I know that, wow, those are strong words, right? And any time that we're self-sabotaging or any time that we're punishing ourselves, like we talked a lot about yesterday, those are all forms of self-hate. And I use a strong word so we can just call it out for what it is so we can invite more of the love in. And I always have quirky ways of working with um, with the uh, demons, the entities, the nuffs, the self-saboteurs, the whatever you want to call it, so that we can make it fun. Because the work that we do in bringing forth our best self after, you know, years of abuse, um, abuse ourselves, whether it's in the form of addictions, whether it's alcohol, alcoholism, food, drugs, you know, whatever it is. Um, because believe you me, I have stuffed myself with food. I spent uh, nine long years stuffing myself with food. And there was no greater, I don't think, no greater form of self-hate than bulimia, which is a part of my story. And anyway, so it's turning the dime. Turning it from, here's the past, over here. And so I have some beautiful stuff back here. And so I'm pointing to the past back here. And just understand that that's, you know, timeline behind. Because like I look over here, I'm like, wow. Um, little segue there. What am I trying to say here? That any time that we're even doing some of that talk where we're like, oh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you hide? Why did you eat? Why did you drink? Why did you smoke? Why did you whatever? When that voice goes on inside of our head, we're like, hmm. Be oh so gentle with that voice. Lots of people say the saboteur, you got to hate the saboteur and get rid of the saboteur. And, you know, the saboteur only knows what we tell it. That's all. So if we're used to berating ourselves, then that's what we know how to do. And so we're turning it so that we know how to do it differently. And so one of the great things that I have always done is there is this statement that I learned from Gary Craig at EFT a long time ago, which I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. And now, just like a bouncing ball, let's play it a different way. Oh, I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. We do it these fun ways. Instead of just saying, I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning. You see the disconnection there? It's like, I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. Let's engage the body. Let's engage the voice. Because a big part of self-love, a big part of self-care is this beautiful thing called your voice. Whether it sings, even if you don't sing well, it sings. It talks really loudly. It talks really fully. And you're like, you're all sitting there going, what the heck is she talking about? And I'm telling you what I'm talking about. This is the voice. This is how you retrain yourself. This is how you work with yourself. This is how you work with your voice. Every time you catch yourself kind of going, oh, why did I do that? I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. And boy, this looks quirky. And boy, this looks wacky. And boy, this looks like, hmm, somebody's going to come and take me away to the funny farm. And see, this is exactly what it's all about when we're retraining ourselves, when we're practicing self-love and we're preaching self-care. What the hairy heck is wrong with having fun? Fun with your voice, by singing, by really announcing and telling every cell in your body that you are learning to love and appreciate yourself. Get this? That I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. I'm learning to love and appreciate myself. And a lot of people might say, you know what? That's bogus. That's baloney. I tell you, I work with 
so many clients on so many different levels and every one of them has had this form of unworthiness, this form of unlovingness, this form of self-sabotage, this form of self-hate. And we're changing that voice. It's time to change the voice, to change the tune, to change the story, the narrative, the directive, and point it in the direction to which that we are going. Okay, it's more popular than ever before. Once upon a time, these were just in the form of self-help books. And then they were also in the form of, you know, things by Earl, by Earl Nightingale. Nightingale, all of that business stuff. It's all the same kind of stuff. It's turning the I can'ts into the I can's. You get that? We take the I can'ts and we turn them into I can's. And the best way of turning them into I can'ts is using your voice, using your instrument, using your enthusiasm, using your excitement, using your inspiration, your motivation to train you and your drive, to train me and my drive. Who's driving the car now? It's you. Y-O-U. Remember, this is your life. You are the star, the producer, the casting director. You do get to direct it, and you get the starring role. It's your name up in lights in the story of your life. And so, we start with some softening language that even though I'm talking to myself in a not-so-nice way, I'm learning to love and appreciate myself and really have fun with the, I'm learning to love and appreciate your stuff. Envelop your body, envelop your voice, turn every cell inside of your body on. Just like it was, um, did you guys see the Dubai lights? When was it? A couple of years ago I was there. And they like so knocked it out of the park for the most amount of lights ever that went on, or no, excuse me, the most amount of fireworks ever that went on in the New Year's celebration. It was insane, the lights that were going on. And those are the kind of lights that you're turning on inside of your own body in that insane kind of way, in that quirky, that kooky, that part where every cell in your body is listening because what you're doing is so crazy and they all feel so alive. That's what it's all about, being alive. And so, even though I'm still talking to myself in a not very nice way, I'm in the process of learning to love and appreciate myself. Did you see that? Did you hear that? Did you feel that? Even though I am still berating myself when I don't do everything that I said I would do. I am in the process of getting it done even more easily. I'm learning to love how I get things done. I'm understanding how I process things and I'm honoring the way that I do it. Even though, even though I still can't believe that I'm dating the same kind of guy and he just treats me like crap, I am really learning to love and appreciate myself. Now see how crazy and quirky this is. I love to use words like crazy and quirky because that's what it's all about. The world doesn't change with a whimper. It, you know, it was the Big Bang for a reason. It was the Big Bang that created everything. The Big Bang. And so what's the Big Bang in your life? That self-love in your life is you're letting go of self-hate, self-sabotage, self-punishment, self crap because you are oh so worth it you beautiful magnificent human being you and so I want you to start saying will you sing it with me I'm in the process of learning to love and appreciate myself turn it into a song and tomorrow I will take it a little bit further where we use actual songs that are that you really like that are in the top 40 and hey I could really use some help here because uh, a friend of mine once said that I only like the music from the 70s and 80s and really I like a lot of the current stuff too but I don't necessarily know all of the new artists not all of them and so whatever songs that you like that turn you on please let me know what they are because tomorrow's exercise is going to be all about how turning your favorite song into an affirmation a mantra for yourself so in the meantime today as we let go of self-hate and embrace self love it's even though I still did that same old thing that I always do I'm in the process of learning to love and appreciate myself 
Say that a few times and see how everything in your life changes. And so now you do it a few times on this day and then you do it a few times. So you do it a few times today, a few times tomorrow, and then the next day and the next day and the next day and you do it for a whole week and all of a sudden, wow, things shift. Now these are tiny little changes and I know Tony Robbins talks about big massive action. And let me tell you, these tiny little changes that we do lead to big massive action. Because just think about tiny little things that happen in the negative. For instance, if you happen to have some of those, um, what are those things called that eat the wood? Um, termites. So if you had some termites in your house and they were feasting on the wood and they were just eating a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, pretty soon your porch caves in, right? So it works even better in the positive where a little bit each day I talk about I'm learning to love and appreciate myself, I'm learning to love and appreciate myself, I'm learning, do you see how I'm having fun with it? Do you see how I'm having fun with it? I make it light, I make it light, I make it dance. So make it light, make it dance as you are moving into that self-love and even use your little fingers and move your body, move your body, move your body and use your voice, that beautiful voice. I'm in the process of learning to love and appreciate myself. Trust me, I've been doing this for a great many number of years and the change of my clients has been astronomical. So, what are you going to love and appreciate yourself about today? Let me know. I'm curious. I want to know. So, this is Lisa. Tomorrow we'll be back on at the usual 7 o'clock Eastern Time, if the internet cooperates. So, have a great night. This is Lisa. Mwah! You are a fabulous human being, you, and absolutely love and appreciate yourself and everything that you're up to. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye.